came here coming at you with another episode from choosingrelationships.com of a love can't wait which can be found on amazon.com now i got a question from uh, a long time subscriber and he said he he read both of my books and looked at hundreds of my videos but he said why don't I ever recommend men getting married? And that's a good question because because not one time, if you've been following me for a long time, not one time that I ever say I highly recommend men get married. I've never said that for logical and practical reasons. And I'm, to, to be honest, I'm kind of torn with this. Because on one hand, I know that the average man is not going to be able to manage and find his way out in these streets. Because out in these streets, the average guy is going to get eaten alive. He's not going to be able to have very much success out here because it's just a lot of uh smoke and mirrors a lot of bait and switch a lot of manipulation and the mainstream media has a lot to do with that and i know a lot of guys um see things the way they want to see it and and on the other side of the coin a lot of women are, are are not gonna be able to pick probably pick the right guy and even if they, even if they have the right guy they're a lot of women are probably gonna manipulate the so-called nice guy and then on the other side of the coin you have a lot of guys that just don't like seeing things for what it really is. You know, so, and, and then you got some guys also, I think some guys should be married. They should, they're not, I'm not going to say they necessarily should be married, but they should be with one woman exclusively. Most guys that I've been around, and I've been around a lot of guys can't manage more than than two women. They, they just can't do it. They're not good at it. So I think some guys should be with one woman. They don't have to be married to her. But if if I think if the average guy can find just one woman to be with steady, that I think that's a that'd be a good thing you know because being married doesn't really mean anything it's just a title i mean it doesn't really mean anything to me it's just a title and it doesn't really mean anything to a lot of people out here because they don't take it serious anyway you know i mean marriage to me is a you know it's, a, it's about family it's about passing something down on the next generation it's about building an empire but a lot of people don't see it that way today. A lot of people don't care about the kids. You know, they don't really, they're thinking about having a good time, what they're going to get out the deal, thinking about going to the next restaurant, going, taking the next vacation. I mean, like living a certain type of lifestyle. That, that's what, that's how the average, that's how the common man and common woman thinks today. They don't really think, they think too small. They don't think big enough, in my opinion. And just because you get married to someone, that's your husband, that's your wife, the titles doesn't really mean anything. Because you're doing the same thing you did before you got married. Well, depending on the person you might be doing less since you got married but anyways 
you still in most couples you're still doing the same thing you know you're still spending time together you're still having sex yeah, if you got kids you got to take care of the kids you're going places together if you if you want if you would like to so you you're still doing the same thing so it nothing really nothing really changed that so different i mean you have two families coming together you got a lot of people that's involved in most cases but in well a lot of times people know that up front but that it's going to be a lot of people involved but uh they might not know to the extent which that can be a problem at times but you know i can talk about all the the laws is bias and all the you know how women are put on the pedestal and they have the unfair advantage and how the the attorneys and the judges are laughing all the way to the bank and they're taking advantage of people ignorance and when they get a divorce i can talk about all that but let's just put that to the side for a second put that to the side it's something else there's a there's a there's a reason why i don't tell guys to get married this the, the number one reason is because number one i know most guys are gonna pick the wrong woman I, I i know they're gonna just pick the nine times out of ten they're gonna pick the wrong woman and they're gonna go even if they have the right woman they're gonna go about the wrong way they're gonna approach the relationship the wrong way i i know this because i see it i've been seeing this for the last 20 years and i hear a lot of guys talk and i'm around people that's married or got a girlfriend boyfriend or and single people so i i just know i know this right it's based on my experience and plus a lot of guys just think that they own women they act like women are like their property they're like oh it's like it's my woman you know and some women too they'll be like oh that's my man you know and see the the the, the real deal is this if you're married and 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 you have a wife there's a a a a, a pretty good chance that something's gonna happen that you don't like I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen to I'm not gonna say every woman's gonna do this but it, but I'm gonna say a good the way the the landscape is today with women men and women and how men and women interact in American society there's a good chance that your wife your your living girlfriend is going to sleep with another man behind your back at some point now i know some guys gonna listen to this or maybe some woman gonna listen to this they like nah not my woman no nah, no nah, i would never do a thing like that to my man but you know what just give it time just give it a couple years your woman is gonna run into a, a guy one of those player type guys that's like me that can talk her out of her panties that can get her panties wet and, her, and those panties gonna come off and that's really a hard thing for a guy to take to swallow because see see in our minds the how we grew up we grew up thinking that women were so nice and sweet and which a lot of them are a lot of women are nice there's a lot of good women out here i know a lot of them you know but that doesn't mean they don't get tired of sleeping with the same guy 
That's just the reality. Just like a lot of guys get tired of sleeping with the same woman. That doesn't necessarily mean they want to break up with you. That doesn't necessarily mean they don't care about the family. That don't necessarily mean that they don't want to be with you anymore. But sometimes human nature just takes over. You know, she's going to run into one of those guys that, one of those smooth talkers, smooth operators. And if the time is right, the environment is right, the situation is right, she might get taken for a low ride. And see, that's why I don't tell a lot of guys to get married. Because I've met so many women over the years. Some had boyfriends, some were married. Some were separated, some were about to get divorced, some were single. Some of them lied, and now a lot of these women, they lied. They didn't, most of these women don't, didn't tell me that they were married or they had a boyfriend or a living boyfriend. They didn't tell me this. I figured it out on my own. Because what happens is, if somebody lives with somebody, you know, they don't act the same and they don't have a lot of time, free time out somewhere. They don't operate the same compared to a person that's single, that's living by themselves. So they operate very differently. Now, somebody that has a living boyfriend or just like somebody, just like a man that's married, they only have a limited amount of time. So whatever they do, it has to be quick and fast in most cases so women aren't any different they just go about it in a different way they just plan better so that's how i figured out that a lot of these women were had a boyfriend or or husband or whatever because if you if every time that i called she never answered the phone she called me back a couple minutes later or sometimes didn't call back at all. And when I see them, it's like, excuses, this, excuses, that. But even, I mean, I didn't care. And this is why a lot of women will flake on you. This is why a lot of women flake on guys. Because they have a boyfriend. Or they have a husband. They have somebody. So, they don't have time to talk to you. And if you're... A married man and you've been married to a woman for a long time in most cases see most guys get most guys fall in love with the sex they don't fall in love with the woman I'm gonna say that again most guys fall in love with the sex most guys don't fall in love with the woman and a lot of want women they know this so they'll play on it and this could last for man 5 10 15 20 years sometimes however now what what happens a lot of times when these women start getting older they're not as attractive as they used to be and you know, that thing don't get as wet as it used to be either. So sometimes, this is where the rubber meets the road. Sometimes, you know, he might start to slide out. Or maybe she might, you know, she, she might catch the, her husband cheating. So they might get a divorce. So that's what usually happens when you marry a, woman, a lot of these women for, for just sex. You know? So, you know, a lot of guys just don't pick the right women. They pick they, they pick the woman, you know, with a, she might have a, a, a nice butt, a, a, a fat ass, a nice breasts cute in the face, nice small waist, 
might be submissive, but you can't cook. Don't clean. She doesn't, she's not very supportive. If a woman can't cook, I mean, I can't. A woman, if a woman can't cook and she don't clean and she's nasty, I can't deal with that. I, I can't deal with that. I don't know about you, but I, I can't deal with a nasty woman and she can't cook. You know, a lot of these guys are, are, are marrying women that's like this. They marrying women that's high maintenance. She likes to eat out every day. She likes to hang out with her friends, her girlfriends. Likes to take trips. They go to Jamaica or Barbados, Barbados, uh, the, uh, the 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 Virgin Islands. They'll you know there will be a bunch of girlfriends that go on those trips. And when you and when they go on those trips, what do you think is gonna happen? I mean, you got women that go on cruises that this is like a annual thing, like a religion to them. They've been doing this since college. And what do you think they going, what do you think going to happen when they get there? I mean, my, I had a, a wise man once told me, nobody gets seduced that's not open to being seduced. It's like I got a cousin that just got married a year ago. And he sent me a picture of his, him and his wife. I mean, her, like, uh, uh, yeah, of him and his wife, right? Now, she's a very attractive girl. And, but one thing I know about him, is he has a pattern. You know, it, it's like every woman he gets, it's always the flashy type. The uh, exotic, flashy type, high maintenance, you know, the type that whine and complain. But at the same time, he like he like women that drop it like it's hot, though. But at the same time, the women that seek a lot of attention, that's flashy, she takes trips too with her girlfriends. Spend a lot of time with her girlfriends. Those types will usually seek attention from elsewhere because the attention that you can't give them enough you can't give them enough attention. One person is just not going to be enough for the, for for that type of personality in most cases. So sometimes, you know what, I, I, I mean, I've been around so many different women over the years. I can almost look at a woman and be around a woman for a couple of minutes, talk to her for a couple of minutes, just sit there and listen. And I, I mean, I can almost look at her and listen to her and get the vibe and kind of see her mannerisms and how she dress, how she talk, how she walk, how she speak. She got charm, charisma. I can pretty much figure out if she's going to be fucking another guy. I, I, I mean, that's how, that's how thorough I'm with it. I am with it. I can just figure it out. But of course, I didn't tell him that. Because most guys don't want to hear that. And this is why I don't recommend guys get married. Because I know most guys are not going to pick the right woman. And most guys don't want to think about their woman sleeping with another man. But they can sleep with another woman though. You see what I'm saying? You see, there's a double standard. On both sides, even with women, some stuff women can do, some stuff guys can't do, or vice versa. But that's just the reality of most people's long-term relationships and marriages. A woman is going to seek attention elsewhere. 
If it hasn't happened yet, give it time. If your woman is out and about, she got that corporate job, or the job that she claims she hates, but she'll do almost anything to keep it. To what extent, though? Or if she's hanging with a bunch of girlfriends, or if she's partying a lot out in the streets, it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. Now, some women that stay in the house a lot, close and close doors a lot, that doesn't mean she ain't doing nothing. If you're the type of guy that work a lot and she's a housewife and she don't answer the phone and she'll call you back later or won't call you back at all, something might not be right. Try, try leaving for work and doubling back an hour later. You might be in for a surprise. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No relationship is perfect. All I'm saying is, look, you got to look at the big picture. You know, because I know some guys that's 55, 60 something years of age. And they know their wife fucking up a dude every once in a while. But what is, what they going to do? Start all over at 65, 60, 65, 70 years old? I don't think so. Hey, man, you got to sometimes you got to take one for the team. Sometimes you got to look at things for what it is. We're only human. Everyone has urges. Sometimes some of these guys can't deliver because they're on medication, they're popping pills, so they can't rise to the occasion. So she's supposed to go without? I don't think so. <laughs> That's not practical thinking. That's just like if, if your wife can't have a baby. Are you supposed to go without the baby? I don't think so. That's not practical thinking. You know, I think that's if you if you can't deliver a baby if, if or if you're if you're a woman and you can't deliver the baby for your husband and you want him to go without just because you because you can't deliver, that's selfish. That, that's very selfish. You might not like the fact that you can't deliver the baby. Or you might not like the fact that he have to go somewhere else to have someone bear his child, but it is what it is. You know? And see, another thing you have to look at. See, at the end of the day, you have to choose, as a guy, you have to choose the lifestyle that you want to live. And whichever one you, you choose, you have to be all in. A hundred percent. 110 percent now see a lot of guys don't understand this see see a lot of guys want to get out here party every week drink smoke get high have a bunch of women travel do all that stuff and they're not wrong with that as long as you don't abuse drugs and alcohol don't abuse drugs and alcohol. I, actually, I would I would recommend you don't fuck with drugs. And if you're going to drink a little beer, wine, that's cool. But don't abuse it. But say no to drugs. I would highly recommend you say no to drugs. Right? If you want to meet a bunch of women, party, all that, that's all good. But here's the deal. There's consequences that come with that. Because you're going to meet that crazy cop somewhere some in some state some city some town and he's going to be harassing you on the side of the highway trying to get an arousal out of you so he can try have a reason to take you to jail now whether you had something to drink or not it doesn't really matter at, at the time because if you if he tell you to blow to see if you've been drinking or so, so he can try to get a DUI on you. If you say no, you automatically get a DUI and you got to go through the process. And 
you, that takes money. You're going to have to get an attorney to get your license back. So you can live that lifestyle, but you got to have your money right. And then you might get caught up with a baby. And nine times out of ten, the girl going to put you on child support. And depending on what state she live in, you automatically go on child support if you sign the papers at the hospital. So that if you're going to live that lifestyle, the fast life, you got to you better have your money right. Or you can take the other route. You can become a family man. Which that might not work out for you either. But at least you won't have to worry about having all these legal problems. You know, you can go the family route. Get married. Have kids. It's all about the family. Create an empire. Focus on that. Get your money right. Get your money up. Create something with you and your wife, y'all can do together. Pass something down in the next generation. Travel. See the world. Meet other people. Do things together. You can do that. Or you can be a lonely drifter. You can be the guy that's single. Maybe you got a couple women around, but you don't indulge in partying a lot, the fast life. You know, you just live a simple life. You focus on getting your money up. Nothing too lavish. You, you know, you don't, you're kind of off the grid. You don't, you're not, you don't, you don't want a mortgage. You don't want a big house. You don't want a mortgage. You don't want to be locked down for 30 years. And some long-term contract, you don't really, the, the stuff that really matters to, to other people don't really matter to you. For example, when it comes to holidays, you look at holidays like it's just a time to spend with your friends and family, right? Now, the common man and common woman look at holidays, it's a time to get gifts, right? It's a, it's a time to be, joy, be joyous and happy. Right? But you won't being being a lonely drifter, you ain't thinking like that. Holidays is looked at would be looked at by you it's like it's a time to spend time with friends and family, to show gratitude towards just living and having friends and family around people that you care about. So you really got three choices and, 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 you know, this is really how I see it. You can either be the family man, you can live the fast life, or you can be the lonely drifter. And I've been all three of them. And what I can tell you is living that fast life, you better have your money right. That's all I got to say. You know, you better, you got to have your money right. Because I know a lady last week that just got a DUI. Because she liked clubbing all the time. It's going to happen. I mean, you can't live the double life. You can't, say, you can't be married and want to go out to the club or go to the lounge every weekend. You're going to get caught up. Especially if you live in these big cities. I mean, the traps have been set. It's your job is not to get caught up into it. So this is why I tell guys not to get married. Because there's a lot of things that come into play. There's a lot of, a lot of politics. There's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of accountability. And there's a lot of things that you have to face reality. And a lot of guys... And a lot of women just aren't ready for it. They, they said, see, there's no class for, for, for getting married. There's no one to talk to. And everyone, everybody that's married or everyone that's been married has a different experience.
So, so that's the deal with that. So, if you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Join my Players Club. Go get my books. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.